get our journeyman, Paul London, to be the opening match with JT Dunn. Now, remember, this was very much like what happened with Joey Janela. We had our journeyman show up to do the opener, which was a great match. And, I mean, that's, um, you know, uh, not, the, you know, that's... that's I, I, think... I would say it's subjective considering there was a spot with Joey Janela where he kind of pointed out my attire... Yeah. And kind of like, oh, definitely it was a... Uh, Local talk. famous he was, right there. He was Local famous. He was talking a little crap to me. What can I say? But the, hey, that, that all ended up kind of going against him when he was trying to do a signature move there, the uh, Death Valley driver onto the apron. Brain. And then Dunn ends up slipping out. Now, Dunn is somebody who, you know, I've been to Rhode Island, okay? I like I like things about Rhode Island. I like a few things about Rhode Island. I like Dell's Lemonade. I like New York System Wieners. And I liked JT Dunn. However, with the recent events at the end of beginning, with that kind of... the, the, the I, I'd say it's a... He slipped into... He slipped into that skin all too easy. Yeah. I, the, if, if anything, the version of JT Dunn that stab, stabs people in the back... That's the version. That's the real one. It's commonplace. It is commonplace that's the, for That's Dunn. the one. And historically, we did watch him be MJF's little to little crony. Yeah. So I I suppose it shouldn't be a surprise because that's the skin he wears. Um, could we see Paul London versus JT Dunn first? I think so, but also Suicide and Hazard is perhaps a good first match. I think that. That's a that's a questionable first match as well. Well, we can certainly start off with that. We can start off with the Paul London JT Dunn match. And, yeah. Um. I mean, they got a lot of matches on this one. They got a lot of they got a lot of people coming back. They got a lot of people that I love to see. So, Paul London versus JT Dunn. Let's start there. Well. I feel like we're gonna definitely gonna have to follow with a up to date kind of like story continuation of what's been going on between him and our recently established local favorite, Big Boofa Desmond Cole. Now because they've been at odds lately and JT Dunn with that death by elbow strike at the last event where he turned on his tag team partner when going up against Rich and Powerful. Now I think Cole won't do anything necessarily like wrongdoing to Dunn, but he's definitely going to make an appearance and tell John and tell Dunn what he did was wrong. He never really had a proper, you know, he has retaliation a... verbally or physically to Dunn. It's always been these awkward kind of moments with them. So yeah. I with feel the, like with Michael that said, might... JT Dunn's ego has been getting in the way of his friendship with with Cole for months. And he just took that to the next level and burnt the bridge. He burnt the bridge because his ego sucks. That's all. And whether or not he, whether or not Booba has proper recourse on this, I I gonna call this for London. I'll agree, but I think, I think Cole's going to actually play a part in London's win, incidentally. Rather than on purpose. Exactly. Well, because Cole is just <laughs> too nice of a guy. Yeah. He's just too wonderful of a person to actually... But still, how much can he tolerate from Dunn with the antics he's been pulling? He either intervenes into Cole's actions, or he has outright, I mean, disrespected the guy yeah. on a couple of occasions. Dunn is out for number one, and unfortunately, you know, a gentleman of his mentality, and I don't want to talk about, you know, uh, uh, skewing between his personal his personal stuff, but Dunn to me seems like a rather selfish guy. Yeah. But so he, I believe this is going to be his undoing. He won't, unfortunately, ever. He'll be close to obtaining, you know what I mean, in, in these recent in these recent months, he'll be close to obtaining what he wants and to getting title shots and, and stuff like that, but he's going to get in his own way is really where this is going. Well, and then on top of that, can JT Dunn really show up by himself this time? 
Is he going to show up by himself? 